my name is Tony Olson, uh, and uh, yeah, what I do, yeah, I consider myself like a maker of things. Uh, that's like the only way I can explain it. Like one day I'm building like a normal chair, and the next day I'm like installing an interactive toilet. Uh, but most days you find me at the university teaching physical prototyping. When you really started to work on projects that today we can call um, maker project? Ooh, I think it's of like many makers. It started when I was like really young, like breaking stuff, like always opening old radios, never being figured like able to put them back together. Uh, and then I went into like tra uh, traditional arts. Like always creative, trying to like build stuff, but again, traditional arts was like too traditional for me. And then I like I moved and started studying interaction design. And this was like when I first uh, became aware that you could actually do fun stuff with electronics. Uh, and slowly, when I got introduced to it, uh, like the community was the like biggest difference. Like active people, uh, like welcomed you with open arms and share the knowledge in a way that was like pretty exciting. You like bring inside the university what you was uh, knowing outside the university, so how it happened? At the university level, I think at K3 in Malmö, like they realized they couldn't keep up with what is happening outside of the university. So I think they made a smart choice, like opening up the doors for the outside world and bringing their knowledge into the university and actually using it and uh, implementing into teaching. And uh, that's what I teach, like physical prototyping one, two and three. So there's like a, a pretty extensive physical prototyping uh, twist on the interaction design education in Malmö uh, compared to other educations in Sweden. And I think most of the world, like a lot of physical prototyping stuff was basically based out of uh, hacker knowledge. Right. So can I start? Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is uh, Bjorn Mawitz and uh, I'm studying to be an interaction designer here in Malmö. Yes, my name is uh, Daniel Baggi and uh, I'm also studying interaction design at Malmö University. And I'm Marcus Johansson and I'm also studying interaction design here at Malmö. In our spare time we are uh, doing a collaboration with a theatre group in Malmö. Uh, it's called uh, Feature Insight, and they're doing a place specific theater, it's called. So, uh, and interactive theater. So, we are doing uh, different technical uh, solutions to that theater play. So we're doing uh, projections and um, uh, sound triggered uh, Arduinos. Let's get uh, movement triggered uh, Arduino solutions that triggers sounds. That's what I'm to say. Yeah, uh, it's basically uh, things to, to enhance the, the experience for the yeah, people. Yeah. yeah. From, from my point of view, I really view makers as uh, explorers who uh, try out uh, new things and explore, try to find uh, new solutions and uh, new ways to use. Uh, Tools, yeah. It makes people collaborate all over the world, I guess, and uh, help each other. And also, um, the sharing um, creates a progress, I think. This knowledge is open source mm. so that a person can build upon other projects to take his own project to, to the next level. Mm.